Giddy Pies, it is Lanikia, and I am coming to you with um, another work date, up, next rep work date update. Next rep update. Sorry. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so you got if for those of you who are new to the channel, new to the channel, what I like to do is give work from home videos and just tell you um who's hiring, you know, just give you a little information about them and then you do your own research to see if that job is right for you or not. Um, or how you feel about the job. Now, okay, so and for those of you who, you know, already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much as well. Even those of you who don't, I appreciate you. Okay, y'all. So next rep. You know, I was working for them and I was doing an email job, uh, a campaign. Well, the campaign did end up closing, which really sucks because we just started it in like October. Um, and so the last day was actually yesterday. Well, my last day was yesterday. I didn't work weekends. <laughs> I, I didn't schedule myself for weekends. Uh, so my last day was yesterday. And um, so we got new campaigns and everything um, coming. You know, you got to sign up for new campaigns. Um <sighs> I'm not, so the new campaigns, obviously it was rare to have an email campaign. So these will not be email, but I decided on doing the overnight, an overnight campaign. Um, I'm going to try it for a month because it is one of those where pay, pay by minute. It's not like the hourly pay. So I'm going to try it for like a month to see if I like it. But while I'm doing it, I am going to apply to the other jobs that I've given you this week. And I'll link those videos in the description. Um, I'm going to try those jobs and I'm really looking for, well, I have something that I'm, I'm going towards, but until that whole situation irons out as far as with that and, you know, that job, I'm really looking for more of a W2 job. So I'm going to do this next rep one just because I'm already working for this company um, and it'll just keep the paychecks you know, rolling in, but I am going to look more for a W-2 job, um, a job that, you know, offers benefits, 401k, you know, those type of benefits, but um, I just wanted to look, give y'all more information. Okay, so we found out, okay, so that, that, maybe two weeks ago, um, on like a Thursday, they, they said, okay, let's have a town hall, and so not this past Tuesday, but the last Tuesday, we had a town hall meeting and everything, right? So we make our schedules on Monday. So I, we made our schedules and everything. And then that Tuesday, we had our town hall that they had told us that we could have on, we were having on that Thursday. So the Tuesday, we have the town hall and they said, um, you know, the campaign, it was, uh, you know, the same speech they give you all the time. It was nothing you guys did. Um, it was nothing you guys did wrong. Um, Everything was, you know, you guys did was fine. Um, they just went, I think, I guess they went in-house with it. Which campaigns do do that? They, you know, outsource, figure out, get all the kinks and everything worked out, and then they bring it in-house um, and everything. And that's pretty much what they did. Um, so then, <laughs> so once they did that and everything, we continue to, you know, continue to work. Now, I... I am not a person where, um, because of campaign, like I've been working call centers for 15 plus years. So if a call, if a campaign goes out, um, because I worked in the call centers for so long that I know you just go to another campaign, you know, you stay with the company, go to another campaign and keep it moving. You still have your job. Um, but apparently everyone didn't feel like that because, um, so we were supposed to get stats that week and everybody, you know, you work, you get your stats, which is just how you performed that week. But we didn't get stats that week. So I was like, well, I guess they didn't give us stats because the campaign went out. Like, OK. Um, so I was like, OK. Um, so then that that next Tuesday. No, no. That next Monday, we received stats for the previous week. Right. So. <laughs> The week the camp that they told us the campaign went out, we were supposed to receive stats that week, but we didn't. So this week we received stats on Tuesday um, about the previous two weeks. And the email was like, oh, 
I I was doing some uh, I had a meeting or something and so I wasn't able to do stats so I decided to just wait and do them and so I'm glad I did because um because the of course the performance dropped because people didn't they didn't care about hitting their hours um <laughs> They didn't, they, they just didn't care. They didn't care about hitting their hours. They didn't care about, you know, I guess how many tickets they were working and all that kind of stuff. Um, they didn't care, which I get it. Like people, you like, they still, even if the campaign is going out, they still need you to work your hours because they, they you know, they could still do business with that company that company could come back months later or maybe even years later and remember, oh, we had a great experience with you all. We want to bring you back. So I understand that. The thing that I didn't like is that we didn't get stats the week before, but then you're bringing stats this week. And so when they gave the stats, um, the OK, so that you. If you know when you get stats, you have all the metrics you're supposed to hit. And then um, so she did them all in one one on one page. So there was one box for the previous week. And then there was another box for the, you know, the mo the um, the most previous, um, the more previous. Is it more? Anyway, anyways, I, the only thing that I had an issue was, but it felt like the only reason we were getting them is just to say, hey, you guys are not hitting these hours and we need y'all to hit hours. And in the chat, they had told us, like, y'all didn't hit hours and we really need you to hit hours. And I'm like, I told y'all I'm a very direct person. So if you don't like if you really are just trying to send these out just to say we need you to hit hours, like a lot of people didn't hit them then say that <laughs> like don't don't especially like when we're asking hey where are we going to next we're we haven't heard in, any information y'all told us to fill out this sheet saying where we would like to go to next and we haven't heard anything like it's getting because it, it got to be um on a thursday before we heard anything about where we were going and we didn't even know how we were going to do that it was supposed to what they said we were, was going to happen didn't happen i like i got a phone call and the only reason I answered the phone call is because I have their number saved in my phone because and I did that because last time they had been trying to call me and I didn't have the number saved. And so this time I had I was like, why are they calling me? Because I really didn't know. And so I was like, hello. And they and they put me through the interview process. And I was like, I didn't know. this, But why? Like, why am I interviewing for a job when I'm just supposed to be transferring to another campaign? Like, I didn't understand that or whatever. Because the, the way they made it sound like we were just going to go to another campaign. Um, so I don't know. That's the only like tiff that I have with it's just the way that everything ended. Now, the t our team lead was wonderful throughout the whole thing. She was awesome because the whole time, like we had been changing uh, um, our, you know, the person. Oh, I don't know. The ops lead. They had been managers. They had been changing like crazy. Um, but she was the consistent, like, throughout the whole thing. I know she didn't know a lot of information, but she tried to, like, keep us updated, keep us informed, um, and let us know what was going on. And I don't know. It was just like we would get an email, not from her, but from other people. And you would apologize in the email, but it's like you wouldn't have to apologize if you just communicate. And that's my only thing um, and that's what any company, if you communicate, you don't have to apologize, um, about anything that's going on because you're communicating. And I've done this where, you know, a program has went out and I was over the program, but I communicated with the people like, this is what's going on. I'm trying to find you, um, places, um, every day I'm telling you what's going on. And so I would have appreciated that, that part of it. Instead of like just being like, okay, where are we going? And 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 then one of the jobs that we were supposed to be offered, it wasn't even offered. And then um, everything was different. We were like, oh, I thought we were supposed to start on this date, but we're talking to this woman on the phone, and she's telling us a completely different date. So I don't know. It was just, it wasn't this, a smooth transition. Is I guess what um, annoyed me. But besides from that, I liked my team lead. She was real cool. And that's who you will deal with most of the time anyways is the team lead. I just hate when they do the whole let's let's meet and let's um, get to know each other. and We're family and all that. We're all family until, <laughs> until you have to do something like this. And it's like you guys are independent contractors. You can do what you want. And so that's one of the reasons like I'm looking more towards a W-2 job because 
I would rather have more of the security um, of that. And so, yeah. I'll, and when I do get that one, I'll update y'all and let you know. I'll still do work from home videos, but um, because the job that I want to go for, well, the job that I'm going for, it's out of the hat home, but it's also in. But you know, so it's work from home sometimes. It's like you know, partial, maybe two, three days a week. That's it. Um, but yep, that is my next rep update, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. This video, by the time you see it, it'll be a Sunday at 3 p.m. Because I told you I was trying to be consistent. And um, then I'll try to give y'all a job. I'm going to link the other um, jobs that I've given the last two videos into the description. Since technically I didn't give you a job this time, <laughs> I'll link those in there. Uh, don't forget help at gmail.com um, um, if you are looking for like some of y'all hit me up on there and i'll be going through the process of giving you know giving you the information and then i never hear from you again and i'm like okay i'm not gonna lie i delete the emails so that when they finally come back i'm like mm -mm. <laughs> like i have i have other things to do as well check your email like be sure you're checking your emails and it's not going to spam but you started the email with me so it shouldn't be going to spam all right guys um, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless and have a wonderful Sunday.